Yeah, tell me, Roshan. Your answer is something. I left the this. Yeah, I mean, I just calculated the difference between the most favorable and unfavorable market. So still, we have 80k in a bucket. Mm -hmm. Unfavorable market. So at high level, I just spoke. I mean, maybe huh. you can correct me. So your answer is right. So first, you define the problem. You can never see my screen. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, we lost the connection actually. All of a sudden. Even I, I rejoined. Okay. Okay. Somebody threw me outside, so just. So what was the answer, Roshan said? Not a discuss. He just I asked them. So they they themselves they calculate and they explain. Let, let us start now. How what is the answer and everything? So define the problem. That is the first step. What I asked you to note. If you come to the real time also, nothing wrong in that. Just take a pen and paper or in a word pad. Just type down what is the problem. First thing. So the the problem here is expand the manufacturing and marketing a new product in back. Back of storage sheds. That is a problem. What they given to us. What are the alternatives they given? Constructing a large plant, or a small plant, or a no plant. That is the second step. First, identify the full 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 length problem. Second one is list out all the possibilities. Even there is a minor possibility, like 0.0001. Don't neglect that. Keep it in your decision. Tree. Then outcome possible. Possible outcomes. It can be a favorable market. It cannot be a favorable market. These are the two possible outcomes. What we have, as per the case study. So, if you see here, the possible outcome is 5.0.5, and unfavorable also 0.5 only. So, 50-50 chances. It is not meaning that every time 50 chances. You have to conduct a survey for that, or you have to depend on some economic. economic uh, and tell you the market trend. So Amar, uh, when they are already saying that the possibility is 0.5, that is like 50 percent. Mm -hmm. so what what kind of uh, prediction we can make out of it then? Because they are already saying this is a uh, this is a possibility, or this, this could be the probability. Because even they you, see see they, can... see they know that they are asking you. They have three alternatives: constructing a large plant, constructing a small plant, constructing no plant. No plant in the means they don't want to construct further; they don't want to expand it. Yes. So, and based on their market survey, or based on their uh, discussion with the uh, economic people, or based on their past experience, they are telling that probability of 50 percent the market can be favorable, 50 percent the market may go wrong. In the next year or coming year. So when they are giving this information, you should be in a position to respond to the management, saying that constructing a new plant is a good good decision, or constructing a small plant is a good decision, or constructing a no plant is a good decision. You have to be answered that. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? Yes, yes, I understand. So for, so that's for the, if you come to if you come to insurance industry, they'll ask you starting a new insurance policy is a good business or not. Mm -hmm. Now in India we have uh, suraksha something for baby children's girl baby. So will it be a good business for LIC or not? Yes. So we have to perform the survey and analysis. CBA is not required right now. Going forward, yes, I'll accept it. But at present, for this case, should not required. Okay. So my alternative decisions are constructing a large plant, small plant, or no plant. And how is my market trend? I have two options. One is the market can be favored to me, or the market may. And what are the payoffs we have? 
list of the payoffs added by the condition values so for a large plant we have 2 lakhs as a profit if it's unfavor minus 1 lakh 80000 if it's a small plant 1 lakh as profit and 20000 as a loss if it's no no plant 0% profit 0% loss depend on the payoffs the amounts what you understand and the alternatives and here you given the possible outcomes you have to construct a tree once you construct a tree then you can implement formula on top of your construction your tree that mathematical formula which i explained you in the previous paint then you have to calculate the emv value emv stands for ex expected monetary value so based on your payoffs based on your uh, probabilities you are going to be calculate expected monetary value depend on the problem whether since it they are expecting a profit and loss so profit and loss means wherever you have a more profit that particular alternative decision you are going to be take if i am calculating the problem belongs to the cost then wherever you have a less amount of emv that one will take so there are two options depend on problem so here once you construct a decision tree you are going to be calculate the expected monetary value so the formula is given here pay of the first state of nature multiply with the probability value so for example i give an english movie 0.2 percent as a probability multiply with 500 is a payoff 0.2 multiply 500 plus i have other alternative for the same state that is called telugu movie which is 0.7 percent multiply 400 rupees plus and other alternate so this is the way we have to be calculated the emi so constructing a last plant what i have i have two options 0.5 percent for a favorable market multiply with 2, two lakhs profit plus 0.5 percent uh, sorry 0.50 multiply minus 1 lakh 80 thousand because there is a loss what i'm getting similarly for constructing a small plant 0. favorable market is 5 0.5 unfavorable 0. 0.5 so if favorable i'll get a 1 lakh unfavorable i'll get 0. Sorry, minus 20,000. Unfavorable is 0, 0. So, wherever I have a EM is more. Here I have 10,000, here I have 40,000, here I have 0. So, 40,000 EM, my expected monetary value for a small plant when compared to the large value, large plant. So, my proposal will go for small plant. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? Yeah, Mar. Any questions on this? Mar, if we divide that into three parts, that will be 0 0.3 or something like that, right? 0 0.3? I didn't get you. Three. No, if we divide that uh, into three parts, mm -hmm. large, small, and do nothing, then each probability will be 0 0.33 or something like that. No, no, no. Let me tell you. Let I am. And so far, I didn't show you the decision tree. Let me show you the decision tree. So my decision, this is always square shape. Here I have three options. You can see my paint, no? What I'm painting here. Yes, sir. So first one is a large plant. Here, small plant. Here, no plant. Here no plant. For a large plant, I have two options. One is favorable market. The second one is unfavorable market. Here also I have two options. Favorable market, unfavorable market. Here also for no plant also I have two options. Favorable, unfavorable. This is 0 0.5. Example I am showing here. Here also 0 0.5. This is 2 lakhs. And this is minus 180. 180,000. 
So when I'm drawing a decision tree, come from the left, left to right. So first I created my decision node, then probability node, then I'm writing all my alternatives. Finally, I'll end up with my payoffs. When I'm calculating my decision tree, I will start from right to left. I'm folding method. So here, 0 0.5 multiplied 2 lakhs plus 0 0.5 multiplied 1 lakh 80,000 is the amount what I'm getting here. So this is 10K. Similarly, for a small plant, here I have 1 lakh, here I have 20,000. 20, now, this is also the same probabilities, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Are getting what I'm going to say? When I'm constructing a decision tree, I'll come from left to right. When I'm calculating mathematical formulas, I'll go from right to left. So here I have 1 lakh 20,000 as a minus. So same formula 0 0.5 multiply 1 lakh plus 0 0.5 multiply minus 20,000 is 40k here. Similarly for no plant 0 0 0.5.5. So here also I'll get a 0. 0 EMV expected monetary value for no plant, 40k EMV for small plant and 10k EMV for large plant. So my decision 40k will come here because that is a profit what I am getting. So my decision will go to small plant with the expected EMV value of 40,000. It's a very, very basic decision tree. Now let's go to... Okay. Are you getting what I'm trying to say here? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, Amar, one one question, Amar. Yes, please. Um, I mean, uh, if you go to the you know, requirement statement, the basic problem statement, mm -hmm. I mean, at a nutshell, uh, what we are getting is 20,000 is out, I mean, profit. Now we are getting 40K. I mean, where is the difference, Amar? So here I am not telling 20,000 as a profit. Here I am telling 20,000 as a loss. One lakh. No, no, I'm sorry. Eighty k. One lakh. Example, one lakh minus thousand is eighty k. So from this, like we are understanding eighty k will be the profit for these guys. But when we actually calculate with the probability and the payoff, mm -hmm. we are getting somewhere around forty k. So where, as per you, according to you, like the here, I'm not here, just that is what I'm telling. That is the expected monetary value as a return. I'm not telling that is the actual figure you are getting. No, no, that is understood. I mean, even that is conveying here on the screen also. Just uh, when, uh, okay, I'm just trying to get uh, inner inner here, but uh, it's okay. See, I'm giving the weightage. See, if I'm calculating like a subtraction or addition or something, you'll get the actual figure. So, 1 lakh minus 20,000, 80,000 I'm supposed to get, what you are trying to say, right? Right. But here, if you observe here, I'm in the probability weightage like 0 0.5. Okay, distribution is equal. So yeah, 40k, half of the fat. Okay. So, and today I'm stopping, but thing is, how much you can give guarantee that, that is go, the market is going to be 5, 0.5% guarantee, 50% uh, the market is favor. How can you say that? Is the survey connected, the person is a, the genuine person or he did the right survey who knows even you don't know right mm -hmm. see right now in in ocean we have 0 0.5 percent as a market is favor and market is unfavor are you sure the market is favor 0 0.5 percent 0 0.5 0 0.5 probability are you sure no one knows Instead of giving the actual figure, while giving the man update to the management, we will follow some sensitivity analysis. I can understand that. So tomorrow we'll discuss about sensitivity an analysis for the same problem in the next slide. So which makes you more sense? The difference what we're talking is the 
difference between the profit and loss but here i'm not doing the difference between profit and loss here i'm adding probability value what is the possible returns i can get it like by adding some probability values expected expected monetary value like an average you can say in our layman terminology yeah i got it i guess sai has some question he was trying to say sai yeah yeah i'm good i'm good uh, maybe when many explains about tomorrow's uh, example then i would that would get clear yes 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 so let us meet tomorrow and we'll uh, extend this concept this example till now what we covered is a very very basic level we'll expand this uh, problem to the complex one before going to the complex one we'll see how to justify the 0.50 the information given information is accurate or not every time we'll not get accurate results so in the same time we cannot deny that uh, information so tomorrow we'll see the sensitive analysis then we'll we'll decide how we can go ahead whether to go for for or we can get a confidence interval boss it is not 0.5 from 0.3 to 0.7 i can accept small plant after 0.7 i can i can go for large plant the probability the favorable market so then let let mds can take decision not you you are giving the interval instead of giving the exact point like 0.5 we will give the interval if the market is favorable between 30% to some 60% i like some small plant if the market is uh, bit above 60% i can suggest uh, large plant let amdis take a call and let them decide how is the market is going to be for the next year you no need to worry you given your work are clear Yeah, yes.